Hey everyone, and welcome to another episode of Monkey Round Reviews. Today, we have the Cronova XPE 498 Mini Home Projector. This thing has 3200 lux. It's about 90 ANSI, uh, about 50,000 hours with the LED lamp that's inside, and its viewing size is between 33 and 200 inches. Now, it supports 1080p, but the actual native resolution is 800 by 480. So what that means is even though that you can give it an HD signal, it's going to downscale it to 800 by 480 for the projector. Um, you're going to be able to see everything you put into it, just but be advised that the uh, resolution is brought down. So text may not look as great as the actual video does on here. So I'm trying to open this box as we're talking. Uh, it's nice and tight. And, oh, here we go. Top is off. So inside here, we have a nice little foam cover. Take that out. Warranty card. A gift voucher, special gift for you. Then we have a box here that shows that it's got the power inside. We open it up and there's a lot more stuff. We've got the instruction manual. The remote control, an HDMI cable, the AV cable that splits out your uh, video and your audio, and then the power cable itself here. And then we have a little screw that goes on the bottom of the projector so you can raise and lower the projector. And then we have the projector itself. There we go. It's very white and shiny. Uh, on the front here, you have the lens cap. So there you got the lens. You've got your focus knob here. This is one of the micro LED projectors, so there is no zoom to zoom. It's manual movements. You've got all of your menu buttons here on the top. On the back, you got an IR, an SD card slot, VGA, and then power. Here is your keystone correction. On this side, we have HDMI. You got two ports here. One is gonna be for the AV plug here. The other one is headphones, which is this one here. And then you have USB right over here so you can put your USB drive in there with your video or graphic files. You got another IR on the front. And then on the bottom you got a hole right here and that's where this will screw into that to do your adjusting. So we're gonna go ahead and take this over, uh, turn it on and see how it looks. All right, so we're all in the back room now. I've got the screen set up. Before I turn the projector on, I just wanted to bring to your attention, when I did the unboxing, I didn't notice this, the projector came with the European style plug. Obviously, I'm in the United States, so I need a US Edison style plug. This does have the same adapter that goes into the back of the projector, so I was able to take another plug and use it on this. So for this demonstration, I'm using my own power cable. I will let the manufacturer know that they sent me a European one, so hopefully that doesn't happen to you when you purchase the projector. So we are in the back room. We are not in a dark area, as you can see. Um, I'm pretty lit up here. I am blocking the window with the screen. The screen is set up for an eight foot diagonal and the projector is nine feet away and that's gonna almost fill this entirely. So I'm going to turn the projector on and we're gonna see how long this thing takes. It should be pretty fast. So I'm hitting the power button now. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine so in 10 seconds the screen is up you can see it so once again we are not in a completely blacked out room we are in a room that has light coming into it um, this projector is 3200 luminance and about 90 ANSI for those of you that are always wondering about the ANSI right now it says no signal because we're on the HDMI I'm going to switch this on over to USB and we're going to play a couple of videos I have on there just so you can hear and see what it looks like.
So we're going to select these three. Um, I do want to say that I did try to use a video off of my phone and it said unsupported type. I have no idea why. Uh, I put it into Final Cut and just reconverted it and left it as an MPEG-4 and then it played fine. So I'll try to reach out and find out if there's some settings that we need to know about. Uh, but just be advised that straight out of my phone the video did not play. Alright, so we're going to come over here. We're going to hit play. Here it is. This. You can see all the colors, you can see the motion, you can hear it, and it sounds and looks pretty good. Uh, the next video that I have playing is an outdoor video, so you can start seeing some brightness and color coming from it. Let me go ahead and turn off the audio. So once again, we're indoors, it's pretty bright in here, uh, and you can see the screen nicely. Um, I will even turn the light on right now right above here and we'll see how that looks. So, so as you can see, it's washed out here right above the light, but you are still, well, okay, here we go. but you are still seeing the video showing up over here and that's a light right above it. So this is a 3200 luminance. It's actually doing pretty well. I mean, obviously I have a light right above it there. So that is why you can't see that. But as soon as I turn that light off again, there you go. Once again, this is a Monkey Around Reviews with the Cronova XPE 498 Mini Home Projector. If you've used one of these projectors before, I'd love to hear about it in the comments below. And as always, make sure you like and subscribe. Hmm? Hmm.